Colleagues, in this video, I am going to demonstrate a very good technique of initiating capsulorexis. Some four cases are here. This is the first case. Main incision has been made. Viscoelastic substance has been injected. Now see what happens while I do the side port. The same lens tip knife appears the anterior capsule. Now I fix the eyeball hold the rexis capsule from there and do this capsular axis. So if it is pierced, if the capsule is pierced with the lens tip knife, it becomes so easy. I don't have to use a cystitome to do this. Here it is again. This is the second case. The side port is being made and the same plan stiff knife pierce, pierces the anterior capsule. Now I fix the eyeball, go with the uterator forceps, hold it here. So those of us who are doing capsulorexis using uterator forceps can initiate herexis in this way. This is a very good technique to initiate capsulorexis. Rather than using a sharp trexis forceps, we can do this. This is the third case. Viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now fix the eyeball. The patient is under topical. While the side port is being made, the anticapsule is pierced. Now, fix the eyeball, take the uterator forceps, and just at on go, I can start rexis from there. So, this is a very good technique of initiating rexis. I don't know when either I am the first person to describe this or not. But I liked it very much. If we pierce the capsule with phaco blade with the keratome, the cut becomes horizontal and it may be difficult to hold but see with this chopper this is an oblique cut and this is very easy to hold with the uterator forceps here it is go with the uterator forceps and just grasp the capsule from there and initiate capsular axis Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in your practice.